This ambulance, a newborn left crying and alone on a doorstep. Police believe she was only about five hours old when she was abandoned in northwest Atlanta overnight. And right now the baby girl is doing okay. Caitlin Ross spoke to the Atlanta homeowner who found her. She has no idea whose child it was or why they picked her house to leave the baby. She didn't know what it was when she first heard crying in the middle of the night, but Frida Burstyn says she knew she needed to help. The baby was inside here like this and had this top part over the baby, so the baby couldn't hardly breathe. Frida Burstyn scooped the newborn baby up in her arms, took her inside and locked her front door. Her bedroom is in the back of the house on Mary George Avenue, and she usually sleeps straight through the night. But last night, she woke up. Her God woke me up and said, go up front. She found the little girl wrapped in a towel with her umbilical cord still attached. The newborn was screaming. No bottle, no pacifier, no nothing. Frida brought her inside and called 911. They put some kind of foil under the baby and to make sure they cut the umbilical cord right in my house. Emergency workers rushed the baby to Grady Hospital, where amazingly, she's in good condition. The child should have been left at a place of safety, like a fire station or a police department or a hospital, um, contact department of child and family services, any of those measures. You can't just leave an infant on a front porch in the middle of the night. Police opened an investigation to try and find the newborn's parents, but Frida just hopes the baby finds love. Like who could throw this pretty little baby away? That baby was beautiful. <laughs> Police say they're just beginning the investigation and don't yet know who the newborn's parents are, but they're asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers. Now, when stories like this come up, it is important to remember that there are programs in place to help if someone decides they do not want to keep the baby. Georgia's Safe Haven Law allows women drop to, to drop off their newborns at fire stations, police departments, or hospitals. And they can do this within 30 days of giving birth without legal consequence. The mother does not have to give identification, just needs to make sure the baby is left with an employee or a volunteer.